What is up everyone? It is Sydney Anne Marie, the baddest booktuber on the planet right now. Real hot girl shit. No, I'm just kidding, but today we are going to be discussing a book, and the book we are discussing is called The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. Now, Jenny actually wrote To All the Boys I Loved Before, which is a movie starring one of the greatest actors of our generation, has been described as our generation's Christian Slater, Leo DiCaprio, and his name is... Lego. Noah Centineo. Yes, you know him, you love him, the Netflix movies we all enjoy. But today we're going to be talking about her series, The Summer I Turned Pretty, which is also going to be a series on some streaming network, I don't remember which one, but it is coming out soon and inspired me to read the book. I see it all over TikTok. I am very excited to discuss it because I did enjoy it. So to provide a brief summary of the book, this book follows the main character who is a girl named Belly, which is a nickname that bothers me to my core. Her real name is Isabel and she even admits at one point in the book that she thinks the nickname is childish. And I wholeheartedly agree, like at some point you just gotta switch to Belle or Isabel. Like, and it also had me wondering, is this a school nickname? Do her teachers call her this? Oh. Funny I mentioned school, because school is actually irrelevant to this series. This book follows a summer in which Belly, her brother Steven, her mother Laurel, go visit Susanna Fisher, who is her mother's best friend, and Susanna's sons, Conrad and Jeremiah Fisher. Now this trip to Cousins Beach is an annual trip in which the families have been taking forever. I think Belly even went when her mom was pregnant with her. So this is definitely an annual trip and something that Belly looks forward to for the entire school year. Now, as you can probably gather by the author being Jenny Han, who wrote To All the Boys I've Loved Before, it is not just the sun and the beach that Belly loves about going to Cousins Beach. She loves hanging out with the boys, Conrad and Jeremiah, and particularly Belly has had this super long-standing crush on Conrad. Conrad is slightly older than Belly, he is 17, Jeremiah is 16, and Belly is 15. And she's also looking better than she's ever looked before. Susanna describes the summer as the summer she turned pretty. She's getting compliments like never before. I think right when the book opens, Jeremiah says, oh, Belly is all grown up. So everybody can tell that she looks a little different and she's very excited for the summer to hopefully be a summer of romance. So I don't want to give too much away because we'll get into it in our discussion of the characters, but now we're going to move on to discuss my characters and my thoughts on each one of them. Now for our main character, I found Belly to be a little bit boring. Now let me clarify and say that I didn't not like her. She was fine, she was cool, but she didn't have a lot of relatability or really defining characteristics of her character that made her super worth rooting for. She was a little bit plain. Now we'd see glimpses that Belly did have some passion and ambition. Like at one point she was at a party and mentioned to a boy she was talking to that she was an AP French, which shows some academic ambition. However, this is never really explored, and even when she's at the pool, she was reading the novel Emma and said it was super boring, which is fine, but she wasn't really seen as a super academic type woman. Okay, I do want to clarify, in Belly's defense, I've actually never read the novel Emma, so it could be mind-numbingly boring, but I think I was just a little hurt because I know the novel Emma is what my favorite movie ever, Clueless, was based off. So when Bella said she didn't like Emma, I took it as she doesn't like Cher Horowitz, so I wanted to fight her, but I think I'm over it at this point, so sorry, Belly. She also said she used to dance, but she has since quit, which once again is fine, but it also doesn't really leave Belly with a lot of passions or ambitions or really something that grounds her character and something that we know to be true about her. I think a good example of a character who is canonically boring but I still really enjoyed is Chilton era Rory Gilmore. Rory never tried to be funny, nor did she have amazing fashion sense or like a snarky personality, but I really did like her because I felt as though through her academic ambition, love for knowledge, and her relationship with her mom, it really grounded her as a solid character who had a strong sense of self, especially for a young age. And I think that's what Belly is lacking for me, just a strong sense of self or like an ambitious goal that she was attempting to achieve throughout the novel. Now notice I said Chilton era Rory Gilmore because Yale Rory is an entirely different story. Now I'm not saying a character always has to be super ambitious or super intelligent for me to really like them as a character, but Belly, I have to be honest, kind of just left me very meh. There's nothing to dislike about her, she seems like a fine, nice girl, but no one who I am like obsessed with as a character. The one thing I really actively did not like about Belly was the moment that she bashed the girl that Conrad was with for wearing too much bronzer. Because it's like, ugh, I just feel like that's so outdated, like bashing the girl the guy you like is with just because she's with him. Like, come on, Belly, we can do better than that. I do think that Jenny Han really did do a great job in impressing upon the readers just how badly and intensely Belly was pining for Conrad. One of my favorite quotes in the book states, Conrad got up early to make a special belated Father's Day breakfast. Only Mr. Fisher, Conrad's dad, hadn't been able to come down the night before. 
He wasn't there the next morning the way he was supposed to be. Conrad cooked anyway, and he was 13 and a terrible cook, but we all ate it. Watching him serving rubbery eggs and pretending not to be sad, I thought to myself, I will love this boy forever. Now I think it's just something about the pretending to be sad line that I really like, and I've never been in love before, so take this with a grain of salt, but I think we fall in love with people's authentic self, and in that moment, while Conrad is putting up a front and like pretending not to be sad, Belly just longed to comfort his authentic self, which I thought was super genuine, and I thought Jenny Han really did capture that like teenage love moment perfectly. <music> Speaking of Conrad, let's talk about him. Now I hate to start off sounding so negative because I really do enjoy most of the characters in this book, but I have to be honest and say that Conrad was a very hard character for me to enjoy. Now I definitely sympathize with Conrad. He's going through a lot within the book. His parents are potentially divorcing, his mother's cancer has come back, and just generally being at that age of 17, I feel like you're totally at a crossroads of, I don't know if I'm going to college, if I go to college, what am I gonna study? Like there's definitely a lot of decisions to be made, but I just feel like Conrad came off as very angsty throughout the book and I think if he committed to the bit a little bit like with some of the summer games that they used to play I think he would have really enjoyed the summer with Belly, Jeremiah, and Steven. It's definitely hard because he clearly is going through a lot though so it's hard to really judge his character too harshly. Since we have talked about both of their characters I think it's appropriate to address their relationship. At the end of the book Conrad does kiss Belly and the last chapter really leads us to believe that they're becoming romantically involved in the future and I have to say I do not really ship them as a couple. Now mind you I have not read book two and book three but who I really do ship Belly with is Jeremiah who we are going to talk about next. <music> Now Jeremiah is the first character that I'm going to talk about who I absolutely loved. He was so sweet, so caring, and just seemed like such a genuine nice guy who really wanted to keep the traditions and fun alive in the summer, just like Belly. You could also really tell that he really cared for Belly on a friendship level, and in the future as we see a romantic level. He bought her the most thoughtful birthday gift. It was a little charm for her charm bracelet with a key on it since she'd be driving soon. And he just all in all seemed like a really good friend to her. And they really seemed to understand each other like the friendship between Jeremiah and Belly made me enjoy Belly's character more than I probably would have had he not existed in the story. Towards the end of the book when Jeremiah does confess his romantic feelings for Belly it was a really genuine and heartbreaking moment when Jeremiah says something to the extent of I'm not mad at you Belly I'm just disappointed that it always has to be Conrad alluding to the fact that Belly actually loves Conrad rather than Jeremiah. And I thought that moment was just so honest and heartbreaking because you could tell that Jeremiah is just exhausted and living in Conrad's shadow, especially when it comes to his relationship with Belly. I also love that in that moment, Jeremiah didn't do the classic incel, nice guys finish last act where he gets mad at Belly in the moment and like, acts as though he's entitled to her relationship, her romance, just because he was nice to her. Their relationship definitely seems like it's going to survive, but I was rooting for them as like romance partners. I think they'd be great together, but all in all, I really did enjoy Jeremiah's character, and I'm looking forward to seeing more from him when I read the next two books in the series. Now, in a sense, it's somewhat difficult to even talk about Susanna because her character was just so good and pure. She was very sweet and very open throughout the book. You can tell that Susanna essentially treats Belly as the daughter she never had within the book. She really takes an interest in Belly's life. She asks Belly to spend time with her. She's given Belly a book. You can tell they really have a strong relationship and bond. You can also tell that Susanna's relationship with Laurel, Belly's mother, is super strong. They really provide the perfect foil for each other because they're so different, Laurel being a little more closed off while Susanna is very open and sweet, but you can tell that they really love and care about each other and it was just so heartbreaking when her cancer came back, so definitely wishing Susanna the best. Now speaking of Belly's mother, Laurel, Laurel is a character who I definitely think we will learn more about in the second and third installments of the series. Belly describes Laurel throughout the novel as being very pragmatic and logical and not having many emotional reactions to things. For example, during the divorce, Laurel was definitely the more pragmatic one as compared to Belly's father who seemed to have a more emotional reaction to the divorce. Now one scene in particular that really stood out to me about Laurel is that in the book, Laurel, Susanna, and Belly had went shopping a couple summers ago and they saw this beautiful purple dress that Belly really loved and really wanted to have, but Laurel did not want her to have the dress despite Susanna encouraging her to buy it. Belly saw the dress appear in her closet a little while later and she always had assumed that Susanna went back and bought it for her. However, towards the end of the novel, Susanna reveals to Belly that no, Laurel was likely the one who bought the dress. After revealing that, Susanna gives this quote which I thought was super impactful and really made me think that Laurel's character will be further developed throughout the series. Susanna says, 
You're the luckiest girl in the world to have her as a mother. Don't you forget that. So I'm hoping that their mother-daughter relationship blossoms throughout the series. The last character who I formed an opinion enough to talk about is Cam. Now Cam meets Belly at one of the first parties that Belly attends over the summer and they really hit it off during the party. Cam actually recognizes Belly from a Latin camp that they both had went to when they were younger and there was a relatable moment in which Belly kind of is upset that Cam recognized her from way back when she was younger because she was hoping that Cam had recognized her just walking around during the summer because she looks a lot better now. And honestly I so relate, like I hate when people come up to me and they'll be like you look familiar and obviously I'm hoping that they like recognize me from somewhere recent like TikTok or just generally seeing me around recently but they'll be like oh you were in my third grade science fair project right and it's like great now I know you remember me as ugly love to see it no but I did enjoy Cam as a character I thought he had a really strong sense of self especially for it being so young he doesn't drink which was like very much expressed throughout the book which same so non-alcoholic cheers to that Cam but I did really enjoy his character I thought him and Belly had a relatively cute relationship. I think it was very apparent that Belly had eyes for Conrad and they just generally weren't meant to be together long term. I do think Cam likely liked Belly more than she liked him. I think Belly more liked the idea of having a guy who really wanted her and was nicer and was around. But you know, I don't think these 15, 16 year old relationships are meant to last forever. So I think it's a W for both of them for getting the experience and really enjoying the summer together. So if you read the book, you will notice that two characters I didn't mention that kind of played a somewhat prominent role in the story were Taylor, who is Belly's best friend, who is often seen in flashbacks from the summer that she did come up to Cousins Beach, and Belly's brother Stephen, who is also seen throughout the summer. However, he does leave at one point to go to college tours. Now, I don't really have super strong opinions on either of these characters. I think they're both fine. I definitely don't have a strong enough opinion to make a whole segment on them. They also had a little bit of a romance, like in the past summer, and you know, it just reminded me of that Victoria Justice song, Best Friend's Brother, so. I thought that was cool as well. But overall, I really did enjoy the book, The Summer I Turned Pretty. I would, compared to other YA novels, give it a 6.5 out of 10. It was cute. I enjoyed it. It wasn't a novel I was actually obsessed with, like The Click or Wonder or other YA novels, but I definitely enjoyed it, and I will probably read the next two books in the series, just because I'm very curious to see how some of my favorite characters turned out. I definitely would recommend reading it. I think it was a really fun, easy read. I read it, I think, in a day and a half, maybe, and I enjoyed it a lot, so... Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more booktube videos and I'll catch you in my next. Bye!